somewhat disappointed I cannot display it with the landing gears down because uh, ta -da, I'm missing the landing gear so uh, so that missing pilot yeah it says it's supposed to be right here right next to the other two landing gears that I've already installed which wasn't too hard I had to so the base here is actually the tool where they this is a separate tool on that one it's it's uh, integrated into the base so it's pretty cool and basically you have to take the the top part of the engines out and then uh, and then you just punch them out I'll have pictures of, of me doing it but these came off and then these two come out and then you can stick the landing gears in there but uh, unfortunately I'm missing the front landing gear you got to take these two pieces off and then you put the piece that's missing here on there so I hope I don't know I think it's missing because just like the hell that I'm missing another pilot that uh, it's pretty lame so anyway all right well let's get it up on the stand I guess well there she is I got her on the stand there it is it's the Yuki Kaze in the, in the Mave form So it was a so you got to replace this part underneath it, basically where it's sticking out right now, and it's a real pain in the ass to get out. It's in there really good, but it's okay because I don't have the landing gears. So that's what happens when you buy pre-owned kits, right? <laughs> you may not get everything, but uh, yeah, there's so much customizability with this. It's uh, pretty amazing. So let's see what else we can do with her. Okay, the first part shows you how to put the pilots in. Uh, unfortunately, I only have one pilot. Uh, yeah. So uh, I will put the one pilot. I will attempt to take put the one pilot in. Let's see how it goes. All right. Well, wasn't too bad. You have to, to kind of pry the the top part of the fuselage off right here just comes off pretty easily and then um, and you have to use this little spatula tool that by the way I have to use a spatula tool to take to put the base mount on too and then you gotta take this part off underneath and then uh, then you gotta punch it out with the spatula tool from the bottom and uh, yeah it took, took a good a little yeah a, a, kind of a lot of force to get it out so you probably would need a tool to punch it out uh, and then and then you just pry the canopy off and then you put the pilots in so I will go do that all right so I did find the other pilot it was um it was actually with with what with the other pilot they were like stuck in the same thing I don't know how they got there but maybe when I was trying to open there it is Coolness. I got both of the pilots. Looks beautiful. So that's it in its um, base form. You can tell like there's lots of hard points to put missiles and stuff. And uh, yeah, yeah, it wasn't too hard to get them in the in there. You gotta really shove them in there though. Uh, you can tell like oh yeah. Well, if you think about it, this is a oops. Yeah, the wings move and stuff too. Um, this was based off a, a drone fighter, so it wasn't designed to have people fly it, you know. <laughs> but uh, I guess when Yuki Kaze took it over, they had to have a pilot in it. So there she is. Let's see what else we can do with her. So. Else do we have in this manual? Okay, so we put the people inside. We can't put the landing gear on. What else can we do? Aha. So apparently, I think there's supposed to be some kind of vertical stabilizers. Yeah, I noticed they're kind of missing. <laughs> Unless it's a 
vertical stabilizerless design. So let's go put those in. Okay, so I've studied the manual a little more. And so these are alternate um, body pieces. So uh, the I guess this is um, it's kind of like a, a fighter uh, that goes on uh, like an aircraft carrier. You can fold the wings up and stuff. So these go up like this. And then these go here. And then the, the how's it, what are these called again? Canards? Uh, the canards fold back. And um, and then the vertical stabilizer. Uh, they're not ver this, this, These don't have vertical stabilizers. It just has a horizontals. So the horizontals will fold. So let's give it a try. So that's the that's the stowing mode. And unfortunately, uh, I don't think you would stow it in the air like this, right? I don't have the landing gear, so I can't make it uh, can make it super realistic. But let's give it a whirl. All right, there it is. That's in the stowage mode. So if they were like to store it, well, yeah, they did land an aircraft carrier once in the anime. And it was a freaking awesome scene. But, um, yeah, so there it is. So so these are keyed, so they go only one way. So the vertical stabilizer... I keep on calling it a vertical stabilizer. It's a horizontal stabilizer. <laughs> they they go all the way down, and then the, the canards, they go all the way up. And then the wings, they move up from there. So it's very, very compact profile. Let's get this off. First, these are all the parts that came off. And they're gonna go back on right away. So it's gonna be flying mode. Spatula tool. Didn't really need that. So there you go. So as you can see, it's a very sleek profile now. Doesn't take up a lot of space. Yes, this is a very, I would say this is an adult's toy. You could probably, if a child could afford it, they could have one of these, but I think not, right? It's a hundred something dollar toy, so. And I'm not even going to be playing with it after I fin configure it the way I want it, right? <laughs> Okay, so uh, here it is. I've installed this, the secondary uh, cockpit position for the Yu Yukikaze Mave. There it is. That's it with the canopy open. How better pictures would, and you can close it pretty easily in this, the way it is right now, just like that. So that's how the pilots get in and out. In the anime, um, the canopy slides from here to here, and then it opens up, and then the pilots get out. So like I said, this is a drone fighter. It wasn't meant to have pilots in it. So, so that's what they added to it. Pretty sweet. Very unique design. So, uh, and that, and where it tells you how to do this, is right here. So step one, you gotta take the front of the fuselage out, take the canopy out, I have to actually punch it out with the tool. So you gotta take the bottom part out, and, uh, and then you swap it with this longer piece. So here's a smaller piece right there. That's the one that's, if you're, um, if, it, if it's gonna be front mounted, the... The um, cockpit. So there it is. Uh, it says something, something to do with. Uh, it looks like a Q-tip. I don't really know why, but I, I didn't do anything with the Q-tip. 
and then uh, and then put the landing gear back on if I don't have the landing gear. And that's how it should look. And so that's it. Let's see a good top view there. Pretty red. So what's next is uh, I guess uh, the Yuki Kaze's engines were upgraded in the anime. So uh, to reflect that, they've added a second set of uh, engines to it, or at least the the nozzle part of the engine. So uh, I'll go do that next. So the first step is to take the top part of the engines out. These are the ramjet portion. And then I guess that's what holds the back part in. Okay, so I've got all the I've got the engines out. Um yeah, so honestly I really don't know what the difference is between these. They look the same to me except this one is silver and it has some like uh kind of fins inside of it, and then this one's just black. So I don't know. It's not really much of a difference. I, I think I prefer the silver, right? <laughs> but I guess those are what the newer engines look like, so let's put those on. There it is. Da, the newer engines. Da, 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 da. Really not much of a difference. I will only go through the back here. Do a below shot. Not really much of a difference, but it's cool that they have the feature. Literally changed the engines. Nice. Since we're on the topic of uh, engines, I just changed the engine. Uh, there's a second set of uh, ramjets that um, that are open. So I will definitely put the open ones because they that, that look cool. But you can barely tell they're open. They just open just a tiny bit. And then, uh, that's what they look like when they're closed. So it just opens up just a little bit. Okay, so I figured out what's going on here. So, uh... So in the original, the configuration you get it in the box is already like this with the ramjet and the upgraded motors. That's why the other motors look kind of more fancier. I was wondering, I was like, rawr, rawr. well, Yukikaze got a, a mo engine upgrade in the anime and it had these ramjet engines. So, um, so to bring it back to the original configuration, the first configuration, um, you put these on top, you, you replace the ramjet. So, so you got three, there's three things you can put on top of the engines. You can put the ramjets with the, with the scoops closed, or, uh, or you can put the ones with the ones that are open, like the ones that are on here, or you can put the, put the first version, uh, the, the, it's from the beginning of the anime, or when the first, the May first comes out, this is the engine that, that comes on it, the one that without the ramjet. So let's go put this on. Check it out. Alright, so there it is. So I took the ramjets out and I put the the original engine tops back on. It looks looks a little sleeker actually. This looks more aerodynamic. Pretty cool, pretty cool. And I've already put some of the missiles on. So that's just some of the, the, those are the largest missiles that you can put on. And after that, the manual goes through uh, how to set up the base, but I've already got it on the base. So basically, you have to change out this, I don't even know why, why, why bother, you know, but... <laughs> There's a second piece here that comes out of the, the rear of the fuselage that has a hole in it for the, for this tool here but um and you have to pry it out it's pretty hard but uh since i don't have the landing gear this is what it's gonna stay on plus plus um 
Super Sylph is on the stand as well, so they will be together. So uh, yeah, I've already done that. So next is the fun part. I get to put the weapons on it. Yeah! Lots of different configurations. So you can see there's some that go on top, some that go on the bottom, some that go on the inside, and then ones that go even more inside. There's ones you can put in the center. Damn, I, I, I really don't know what I'm going to pick. <laughs> I'm probably going to try to put as much as I can on there to make this bad boy as heavy as it can get. No, hey, look at this. It looks like a cluster bomb or something. That's what that looks like. It's got all those little things, and look at the detail. Very detailed. Just looking at the manual, right? So, uh, yeah. These are different things you could put underneath it. Pretty cool. So, here we go. I'm just going to take a bunch of pictures, so. Okay. So, uh, I've attached these little, um, these little boosters or, uh, little rockets to it. I don't remember what they use these for in the anime. I'm pretty sure it was so they can fly in a vacuum or something, or in outer space. That's what it does, so. But I'm pretty sure it, you know, they look like little, little rocket engines that move it around. So, yeah, I'll have some pictures. There they are. Cool. I'm not going to display it with them though, they look kind of goofy. <laughs> okay, oh my god, there it is. This is this thing is so much fun to play with, uh, to put all the stuff on there. So there it is. I have a uh, Yuki Kaze with this full. I think this is the maximum amount of missiles you can put on it. Pretty rad. It's armed to the teeth, and it's even got uh, a bomb on it. So, let me just go over what I got here. I got some goodies down here too. Check that out. But uh, yeah, so so on the top I have some air, I think they're air to air missiles. They go on the top and then another pair on the bottom. So that's like eight total on the outside wings. And then um, and then on the inside, I have single missiles. And then in the center, I have a double missile. You can actually take this panel out with this little hook. That's what the little hook tool is for, to pull this panel out on the bottom. Yep. And, um, and then you can swap it with that double missile panel. And it has another has another uh, connector on it for the bomb. So there's the bomb. So also, there's another cool thing you can do with that. And uh, let me go do it. There it is. So uh, what you can do is you can ha there's a little stand here for the bomb. So apparently, um, when this this is what it looks like when it's not um, when it's not deployed. And then when it's deployed, these fins come out. So it's some kind of like, um, it's like a, like a high altitude guided bomb or something. And, um, yeah, I guess those open up and it lets it steer and stuff. But, uh, there it is. It looks rad. It looks like a, it looks like it really is dropping the bomb. But yeah, so it has this stand with this base here. And then it has this little arm that clamps onto there. I'm like, oh my god, that this so looks like it's gonna break it. I thought it was gonna break it when a uh, when thing, you know. But uh, there it is. It looks fucking rad, though. I I still think I'm gonna display it with the laser cannon. Ah, I don't know why it keeps on 
changing the color anyway. It's pretty cool. It's Mikaze dropping a bomb. Saying Sayonara, sucker. Sayonara, jam, right? And to make it even more realistic, they give you the empty, uh, they give you an empty, uh, like, the hanger for it. They give you an empty one. See that? So that, I mean, it, that's where that was before, right? So, so it would be empty if you dropped it. The, the attention to detail on this model is just spectacular. I'm, I'm telling you, Alter did an excellent job on this. It's definitely worth the money. Definitely. If you're a fan of uh, Yuki Kaze, it's definitely worth the money. So there you go. That's the maximum configuration with the missiles and one bomb. I'll probably keep it something like that. I'm going to try to do a all all ground attack next. All right, well, sort of disaster struck. Um, I couldn't get the centerpiece back on. I I couldn't get it off. I put it on there. <laughs> I put it on there all the way, and uh, I couldn't get it out. I even broke the tool that takes it out. So I'm not poly I'm not putting this back in. But uh, yeah, it's all scratched out. I have to use a screwdriver to pry it out. But uh, yeah, I'm probably not going to use that anymore. But uh, there it is. That's um. It's Yuki Kaze in its uh, full bomber configuration. Um, I guess uh, I guess you can put some air to ground missiles on top. Oh, oh yeah yeah, and you could probably put some air to ground missiles um, um where right here where I put the fuel tanks too. But uh yeah hey you can drop the fuel tanks on people <laughs> I guess. But uh, yeah so it's got it's got two external fuel tanks. And it's got two of these cluster bomb dealies, and then that guided bomb, and then um, and it's got like two air-to-air -air missiles on top. There you go. Pretty awesome. So that's a, the ground attack mode, pretty much. red so uh, I don't know um, I will put the last I'll put the other fuel tank on there's another there's a third fuel tank that goes in the center so many configurations you can do with this it's ridiculous you can spend all day playing with this thing okay so there it is with the three fuel tanks three external fuel tanks two Two on the side here, and then one in the center. Pretty cool. And another cool thing, before I take these off, is um, these cluster bombs. You can take the little panel out underneath, and you can see all the little missiles inside of it. Pretty cool. All right, there it is. That's in the. This is Yuki Kaze with the laser cannon. So basically, what I've added. Here's the laser cannon on the bottom. So it's that big unit in the in the middle, and then those two two ones on the side. And then you can see like there's some like hoses go into it. So I guess maybe that's like the power for it or, st or something. Pretty cool. So that's the configuration. I'm gonna leave it in the laser cannon. That's cool. That's also the. Um, it's also what the the manual shows right here. Exactly how I have the manual. So, so this is uh, the Yuki Kaze with uh, the second generation uh, motor with the ramjets. It's got 
air-to-air -air missiles on the top. I think those are air-to-ground missiles on the bottom. So it's got four on top, four on the bottom, and then the laser cannon. Arm to the teeth, man. Those jam don't stand a chance, right? That's the configuration I'm going to leave it in. Pretty rad. So, uh, there it is. I, uh, if you can find one of these, and if you can afford it, and you're a fan of, uh, the Yuki Kaze anime, I highly suggest you pick up one of these. Um, yeah, they're all sold out when I, um, when I tried to buy one. Apparently, oh, this one looks a little crooked, um, apparently, uh, when um, th this is the second, this is actually the second run. They did a they did a re-release of this. I think this was released in like 2012, a couple years back. But um, yeah. So uh, so hopefully they'll have a third release because uh, Alter did a really good job with this. I like the stand too. The stand is cool. It goes straight. It's like hey, we're doing the Cobra, we're doing the Cobra. <laughs> it is. Yukikaze doing the Cobra. Oh, and you can do it. You can do it off an aircraft carrier. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Um, yeah, so this is the second, um, second release of this. And uh, I got it for about $100. They normally go for 120. Unfortunately, I was missing the front landing gear. That's why it's pre-owned, I suppose. And um, this piece is very hard to get off once you put it back in. I don't know how. I thought I broke it when the missiles came off, but apparently the missiles just they just come off. So um, so yeah. Highly recommend it if you're a Yuki Kaze fan. It's um. It's an excellent model slash toy. Uh, you you can spend all day playing with this thing and setting it up. And the attention to detail is is amazing. For uh, for hundred bucks it's worth it. Or hundred twenty bucks. So uh yep. Thanks for watching a uh, grown man play with his toys. <laughs> Hades Omega out. One last clip. So uh, here it is next to the super self but uh um i think uh i'd rather have the if you were to choose if i had to choose between the two the the super self is cheaper but you can't you couldn't do nearly as much stuff as you could with the mave super self's a little bigger though but uh yeah there's the two together uh yeah you can put a lot more weapons let's just switch in the background you can put a lot more weapons on the on the Mave than you can on the Super Sylph. So I would definitely I would definitely if you had to choose between the two. Of course I have both of them, so that's the best of both worlds. <laughs> but uh yeah. Um if I had to choose between the two, I would get the Mave instead. Because there's so many more things you can do with it. But both of them are still very detailed, you know. But uh, the Mave, you can do more, more stuff. But of course, you're probably really only gonna gonna display it like one way. So there they are, the Super Self and the Mave. The um, the first form of Yukikaze and the second form of Yukikaze.